righty, I'm picking my boat up. Who wants to go fishing on a beautiful day like today? It was colder than a witch's tit this morning. It started to get real cold last night. There's a 250. My 250. I guess he had to paint it a little bit when they put it in that bracket. Probably scuffs it up a little. So, looks like he hit it with a little bit of black spray paint. Here's another Zuki 250. Alright, heading home, heading home. Finally, that was one long no making money week right there. You know, the old saying is, if you want to, if you want to, uh, if you want to make a million dollars in the fishing business, start with two million. This is my 23rd year of being in the charter business in Jacksonville, Florida. Full time, day in, day out, the only part time job I've ever had was sitting on the water running a towboat US towboat. And I did that during the recession just so I could eat. I'm not married to a doctor or a lawyer, just so y'all know. So I'm in the back of Del Marine. Three quarters of their boats are all gone because they're at the boat show. That's where I'm trying to go this sometime this weekend to do a video. Make sure everything's good to go here. Look at how these screw holes, these screw holes. My water is so hard at home that I get all this buildup right here. They don't have these on this one. Look at that, there's a 250 and it's wonder what year this one is. It's totally pull out and rotate. Wow. Totally different than mine. Alright. Time to get on the road. In the big bad Dodge. Come on. Somebody asked what kind of truck I have or something on the one of the last videos. My, this is an 08 Dodge, three-quarter ton with the Cummins diesel, six-cylinder Cummins diesel in it. This is one pulling son of a gun, this truck. Now, here's the big difference. Back in 08, when I strategically did all this, uh, 08, they had the exhaust gas return burning, re-burning the uh, exhaust before they came out with this death uh, fluid, the urea fluid that's supposed to keep your, uh, you know, your pollution down. Well, let me tell you. Florida or in and around 
Jacksonville. Looked at a Ford. They wanted a ton of money for a smashed in tail, one with a smashed in tailgate, which was a diesel white single, you know, tour, two door Ford. They wanted $26,000 for it and had 65,000 miles. Well, I, that one was a 08 also. Well, I found this. It was an 08. I got it for $15,000 all the way up in North Carolina. It ends up having more storage behind the seats than the Ford had. And you got to remember, every, every uh, truck that's a diesel is usually, not today, but every back then, every truck that was a diesel was three-quarter ton. And that's what I always want. I don't want a half tonner. And um, I came home, bought a thing called a Smarty Junior, which is a reprogrammer. Doesn't do anything super fancy. Does like three levels of performance. All it's doing is changing the injector rating and blah, 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 blah. And bought a straight pipe, took off all the emissions capped off all the electrical connections, took out 150 pounds worth of crap off the engine, took another 250 pounds of crap off the exhaust system, reprogrammed the truck. Instantly, my oil stays clean because I'm not reburning the exhaust gas. It doesn't have to regenerate and burn diesel fuel in through the particular particular particulate filter I don't even have a muffler I don't even have a muffler uh, yeah I've been nothing but happy with this truck I bought it it has just had 30,000 miles on it 15 grand gave him my old truck I had an F2, a 1997 F250, two-wheel drive, with the little bit of extra cab in the back. Yeah, so I've been nothing but happy, happy, happy. This isn't the most stylish-looking Dodge ever. That's for damn sure. The newer ones sure are better looking than this. I've always been a Ford guy. You know. Having a Ford is sort of like having a Yamaha 300 or 250. They sure are proud of them. I couldn't afford a Ford. But then again, all I wanted was a little three-quarter ton, two-wheel drive plumber's truck to tow my boat. Sorry, I had to make a big turn there. get on this thing buddy and it'll pull 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 I got let's see going down uh, almost to Tampa almost to Tampa towing my boat trailer with nothing on it just a boat trailer going to Tampa 26 and 27 miles per gallon on the highway towing a boat trailer with nothing on it. I was taking my trailer down there to get fixed. So, instead of talking boats, now we're talking trucks. I'll tell you, I'm so depressed on all these new trucks today with all that electronic crap on them. I mean, it's all what most people want. I don't want it. I always say, if I ever need a new truck in the future, you can go to an auction like Barrett Jackson or, you know, something like that, one of those big time auto auctions. And you can go get yourself, by the time I need a new truck, I'll go and be able to get a 1980 or something restored all the way complete from the ground up 
restored and fixed and jazzed and everything for less than you can buy one of these brand new trucks. I mean, you get a four wheel drive, four door, this and that, 14 inch entertainment center screen, GPS, telephone, oh my, leather upholstery. I mean, good God, even the Fords, the Dodges, everything, you're spending, you're spending $65,000, $70,000. What? My first house was $42,000. My second house was $35,000. Now, my third house was $110,000, but that's here and there. But when a truck starts costing house, more than a house and property and everything, there ain't no way. I've got electric, I've got a jack brake on here, exhaust brake. I got a towing mode. Yeah, man, I love this truck. It's also right here on the shifter, it's downshiftable. This truck is a six speed transmission automatic. I don't know what transmission. There's a couple different transmissions. Everybody says there's one that somebody always says is better than the other. I don't know which I got. But it's downshiftable all the way from sixth gear all the way down to first by pushing a button. And it's got tow haul mode, which will do an automatic downshift for you. So when I found out all this, that this truck is so towing oriented I just had to have it I bought it let's see it was an 08 and I bought it in 2010 so I've already gone 8 years with this truck and the only thing I've done is maintenance the only thing I've done is maintenance that's that 11 minutes of talking about trucks come on Dave why you doing that this is a fishing channel I wanna go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blues away I wanna go fishing I don't want